Yep. How's yeah. it going? I'm Brian Blackmore. We're going to win this limbo contest today. We're going to show people how to limbo. See, there's a limbo technique that people don't understand. This isn't a limbo. This isn't a limbo. This is a limbo, all right? You All right, we're here at Wrestle Expo. We're not doing a typical video like we do every year. We're not covering both days. We're only here today on Saturday. Um, not into game collecting as I used to be, not as much. I'm more of looking for the art stuff, stuff inspired by retro gaming. If there's a game that really stands out to me, like a Famicom title or a PS2 title from Japan or something, there's a lot of really cool things here at this expo. So we're gonna take a look. We might find something, a PS2, a PS1, a Super Nintendo, or whatever that might be, we're gonna buy one possibly and mod it in a future video. And not just mod it to make it run other games or to run in HD. We're also gonna mod it to make it look a little different as well. So it's gonna be a little bit of both, but that might be at the end of this video or a future video. So let's take a look, let's look around, see what they got. Okay, so we came across a booth that's all 3D printed stuff, which is really cool. It inspires me a lot to get more into 3D printing. Obviously, we just recently did a video. If you haven't checked out, go check out that video. If you're into 3D printing and you want to upgrade, say it into 3. But these are some really cool prints. Um, I want to get to this level, but I just got talking with a guy and he was like recommending, yeah, definitely go with the Bamboo Labs, which I might eventually do. The NES Advantage. Could this be a possible project in the future? It's only 15 bucks. Turn it into a modern fight stick. We will see. There's some buttons, but we can always make more holes and add more buttons. So, and it's all metal, so it's pretty durable. So, it might be an idea. All right, so we came across another booth 3D printed stuff. Is it just me or is this year, like, it seems like the year, 3D printing is really, really starting to take off by a lot. Every channel I look at lately, channels that are focused on, like, graffiti are using 3D printers in some way, shape, or form. So, I don't know, it just seems like the year for 3D printing. It's cool and I love it and I'm getting into it. And this is some cool stuff here too. So, yeah, I'm sure you're gonna see more videos of 3D print stuff on our channel. Hi everybody, so one of the things that Extra Expo every year, which I always find really cool, is that they have eSport tournaments that go on. There is a fighting game tournament going on there, Street Fighter 6, which is happening right now, which is really cool. Um, we also have the Tetris, World, the classic Tetris World Tournament going on as well. Um, it's one of the qualifying matches that are going on here at Retro World Expo. I don't remember where the main one actually goes on, but it's really cool that the lead up to that is happening right here. And Street Fighter 6, you haven't played it, you haven't checked out our last video where we made a 3D printed controller. We played some Street Fighter 6, go check that out. So I did pick this up because I was holding it, thinking about what I'm gonna do with this, and all of a sudden the guy's like, five bucks. I was like, here's five bucks. <laughs> it's, it, I'll take it. So yeah, got the controller. Uh, five bucks, it was easily a deal going to turn this thing into so there's a few ideas i'm going to turn it into a newer style fight stick probably a hit box of some kind or a mix box all button controller leaveless controller flat box whatever you want to call it that's what it's going to become or it's going to become a stream deck uh, meaning it's going to be a controller to control your live stream which could be pretty cool too as an nes especially if you're going to stream retro games and you have a stream deck made out of an old nes controller there he is over here the banana man. You recording? Yep. How's it going? Yeah. 
How's it going? I'm Brian Blackmore. We're going to win this limbo contest today. We're going to show people how to limbo. See, there's a limbo technique that people don't understand. This isn't a limbo. This isn't a limbo. This is a limbo, all right? You got to hit the Bernie all the way. Here we go. One shot. Okay, one shot. Oh, Jim. Morocco, man. We can't have that, bro. I'm sorry, bro. Stand right here with me. Come on, Brian. The pressure is on. Hi everybody, this is the end of the video. Um, obviously, we really, I didn't buy any games this year. There's not too many I'm really interested in. Uh, it has to really, really stand out to me. Um, but we did get this, a custom. So, um, seen this in the past. You've seen custom tumblers like this, but these weren't these. These were like gaming tumblers. I had the NES one one year, and the year before that, I bought the Legend of Zelda one. But they were here this year with all their gear, making custom ones if you sent them a picture. So I sent them the design I did for our channel and they put it on a Tumblr. That's what stands out to me to the, at these cons is the people that are inspired by retro gaming to make other things and newer things, including like artwork, uh, water bottles, stuff like that. Um, and including obviously artwork that's designed by inspired. So we got some cool yeah, so way too much art. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna have any more wall space. Uh, the gaming, it's it's really gotten out of control. Last year we did do a video, we did two days, and we did a video, is gaming collecting really not worth it? it it's not worth it, people. I, I am, it's really sad to say. But uh, cons are worth it, it's so much, it's still fun. You, know, you, you meet up with your friends, people of your, you know, that are into gaming and stuff like that, so that's what makes it so fun. Buying the games, it's just, it's so expensive. And you think the prices will go down with the evolving of emulation. Like it's, it's all over the place now yeah. compared to several years ago. So yeah. it's like, it makes it ooh, too much, too much money. Yeah, I just don't think it's worth it. When I'm seeing Game Boy Colors and Game Boy uh, SPs and stuff for like a hundred bucks without in a box, no box at all, or even a power cord in some of them, for like still a hundred bucks, no. But in general, like obviously I've, I'm not into so much game collecting anymore. It's kind of gotten ridiculous because you have a lot of the stuff that's, it's nice if you're a collector and you have the space to do it. Um, and you have like walls of games. That's like one thing, but if you don't really play them, what's the point really? Aside from just having them. If you like just having them, that's one thing. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I really enjoy playing a lot of these games. So, yeah. And, th and that's, that's how it's going to be. Um, and in our future, we are going to be doing another channel pretty soon called Game Smash. That's the actual channel's name. And we're going to be playing a lot of retro games on there. So, and unfortunately, we are going to be probably using emulation to do most of it. Anyway, this is the end of this video. It wasn't your regular Retro World Expo covering of the whole convention, because that's not what we're doing this year. Uh, we didn't get press passes. We didn't know that this year. We came here just to, as consumers really, and to enjoy just the con in general. Meet up with some people. We met up with Marley, we met up with Russ, uh, Brian Blackmore, uh, so. Mike Levy. And Mike Levy, yeah. Yep. So, obviously all great creators uh, were here this year. They, uh, um, aside from like Brian Blackmore, all the rest have been here every year. Uh, so it was cool seeing him here. It's his first, I think it's one of his, it's his, I think he's came here before, but Brian Blackmore's first year coming here as like, he was as one of the guests. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So, and I'm sure you saw him earlier in the video doing the limbo, so. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hope you enjoyed that footage of him and Banana Man. Yeah, the Banana Man. So who's in every single one of our convention videos. Mm -hmm. And he's at every single convention in Rhode Island and Connecticut pretty much, so. Yeah, I don't think he's missed a beat. No, he doesn't since, miss a beat. Since we, everyone we go to. That's, that's like his life. Yeah. Go to cons. Yep. So, hey, that's what he likes doing. That's what he likes doing. I don't, I'm not sure if he just makes money on social media for it. I've never looked him <laughs> up or seen what he does. Yeah. But hey, it's his gig. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, this has been this, uh, 
This has been Rush World Expert Early, 2023. Uh, 2024 might be a little different, but we will see. I just hope the game. I personally, I don't, I don't wish bad will on anybody. I do hope the bottom, bottom kind of falls out on retro game collecting a little bit. It does need a fall out. Uh, yeah. It's gotten a little ridiculous. So the bubble needs to burst. Yeah, it, it's bad. <laughs> yeah. Um, so that's our opinion. But if you're selling, I mean, yeah, if you're getting rid get, of it, get rid of it yeah, <laughs> as soon as the, you can. This is the time to get yeah. rid of it. Um, and I'm sure you've seen on, obviously on. YouTube, a lot of the, a lot of people are getting rid of their game collections. A lot of people. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Go watch our DIY builds and our upgrade videos, because uh, that's I'm sure what you're tuning into this YouTube channel for. So go check them out, enjoy them, like, hit subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Later.